today on Black Powder Meeting Shooting. It's March 2021, and I am just now getting out my Christmas gift from Christmas of 2020. This uh, Great Plains rifle has been in the box for several months. That's un American for me, by the way. So today I'm going to get this rascal out, put it together, and go down to Zoo Bottoms and see how it works. And I'm going to take you along for the ride. started want to remind everybody ear and eye protection is strongly recommended let's get this rascal open and see what uh, what involves all right a couple instruction books now I don't have to read these today because I have read the ones when I had the uh, Lyman's Great Plain pistol for Christmas of last year but this one is an invest arms one I hear Petasoli is starting to make them now, but this is one of the older Invest Arms ones. You know, the stock is pretty much already put together. And you can tell it's got an opening for the barrel. Lock and stock and triggers is already in it. That's no problem. I'll come back to that in a minute. Here's the old barrel. Come on out, big boy. Yeah. It's a hooked breech type barrel. You can tell, we'll get it in front of the camera, which will drop right into the stock. And we'll come back to that in just a minute because somewhere here's the parts here. Another little bag of parts. Well, this little bag has a couple of jags that you can put into your ramrod for when you go to cleaning. A different sight that was on the gun comes with it if you like to choose to change it out. And two wedges. The wedges are also going to be used to put this thing together. So here's what we'll do to put it together. Lyman well, strongly recommend that you do not force this barrel into this. You just put the lock, I'm sorry, the barrel right into the stock. Just squeeze in easy. You don't have to force it in. And you just stick one of the barrel wedges in from right to left. Gotta squeeze in more, get it right in there. There we go. And put the other one in right to left. And put them in tight. Once you get the two wedges into the gun right here and here, it's all put together. This gun weighs about eight and a half or so pounds, a little bit heavy, but it's plain rifle for you. Now, this particular gun comes equipped with a one of these square cut stones. I'm going to take it down to the zoo bottoms and put it to use, but I can see that that's probably not going to last very long. I'll get a uh, English 7 8 inch flint put in there real soon. So hang around as we go down to the zoo bottoms, and we'll put the Lyman's through its round and see how well it spanks some zoo critters. Yeah. See, one of the beauties of this type of test is uh, I'm going to actually use the Lyman's Great Paint Rifle and a different microphone system. As you can tell from looking at the camera that it is uh, swinging. Maybe I get the groove with it too. It's swinging back and forth and hopefully you can hear me a lot better as I load this thing up. So what I'm going to do this time is, since it's a brand new toy, first time it's ever been fired, I'm going to put uh, 60 grains of shoots in 2F in it. Just a little bit more than the caliber of the gun, which is not a big deal to me. It missed a flintlock lube on these patches a while ago, so they're they're good and wet. We'll get one of them started on here. I forgot to mention earlier that I don't have a fiberglass rod for this one. The factory rods, I have to be kind of careful as I'm loading it up. I don't want to Break this one. Short stroke. Well, that would done it real easy. Let's see how this uh, square cut flint will actually work. All right, got some Swiss snow be in the pan. Let's see if I can hit the old piggy down there. Triggers are set.
I'm gonna like this gun already. Yes! Yes! Now let's go to the second test. We'll try a little bit of Swiss 3F. Let's see how this works. And once again, I'll put 60 grain in it. We'll get a 480 round ball out. Another pillow ticking patch. A little more of that uh, Swiss Noel B in there. I noticed that Lyman has a deep pan on this lock, so that makes it a lot easier. That was about that much below the other target. Yes! I'm going to love this gun. I'm going to get bolder, come out here a little bit further away and see how I can do shooting this Lyman's Gray Plane. I, I kind of like the buckhorn sights on the gun. Maybe that's been my problem all along about hitting something. Let's go back to another 60 grains of 3F shooting. Prime it up and see what happens. Yeah! Trigger set. Oh no! So much for the cut stones. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn this one around, try the box out a few times, see if I get it to work. Otherwise, the old English flint's coming out real quick to go on this gun. Three shots and the thing's already dull. Try it one more time before I have to change it. That's cool a little bit longer. This time I'll try the Swiss again. See what number five does with this old uh, cut stones. <laughs> oh, yes! Five shots and five hits for me. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna try to get a boulder and move back a little further. This is about as far back as I can go. I'll show you. Let me turn the camera around and look. Uh, deep Creek. <laughs> so, swing this bike around here. Don't make you too dizzy. Can't go back any further this direction. Let's see if I can spike the piggy through the trees. Oh, I choked that time. Oh, I got loaded up. Try it again. Yes! 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 I love this gun. That's enough for now. I'll tell you what. Uh, I guess she's still smoking. I love it. When I get home tonight, I'll put an English flint. Matter of fact, I'm going to put one on here in just a few minutes and try the English flint on here and see how that works. Go ahead and take this one off. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, try the different flint this time. See how well, well this one will work. Kind of a crappy looking flint, the only one I had with me that would fit this gun. It's even kind of off centered. That's all right, it worked. I'm having too much fun. I gotta load this thing up and shoot it some more. Yes, oh, just a little off the side. <laughs> I only missed twice so far. Yes, that excites me. One more time before we get out of here. Ooh, the wind is blowing. Look at that camera swinging. I hope this uh, microphone system's working good. Guess I'll find out when I get home and put it on the editing program. One more shot, unless I miss it, then I'm gonna shoot it again. Makes me want to miss it so I can shoot some more. Yeah. Tell you what, kind of hard to see it probably, but this gun's got buckhorn sights on it. 
a turn upside down, maybe you can see what I'm talking about. Buckhorn sights on it. Of course, it's got the bigger on the other end, like the Pedersoli guns has. I love it. I give this gun a thumbs up. Absolutely. But thanks for watching. Now to turn the cameras off, I think I'm going to shoot it for a little bit longer. We'll catch you on the next adventure. <laughs>